All right, time to do part two of this ridge trail, the West Ridge out of Dell. Got the flat tire that I started off with the part one of it. Let's go part two. This is where it gets a little bit more rocky up. It's going to become a little bit more challenging with this rear tire being flat. I'm up for it. I like it. I'm not scared to have a bit of a challenge. I'm going to get rocky and loose here. Just taking it steady. So you limit the possibility of any damage to the rim. So I have a look at the rear tyre there. Oh yeah, she's flat. It is a 140-80-18 Enduro. What is the brand? Actually, I think it might be a Shinko. From memory. Yes, there it is. Oh there, yeah, it's a Shinko something. Shinko Enduro. 140-18, so yeah. She's got a lot of sidewall for that tyre to skate around on while it's just flat. So those bigger sidewalls help soak up these ledges and that rocks when the tire is inflated decreases your chance of getting a flat tire but once you get the flat tire she rolls around big time on you but adds just another dynamic here another element to apply the skills what was the word now Jamie Brinsgaard it was the comment was, you don't need luck, you just need talent. All right. Well, today, right now, I'm going to rely on some luck. Not really, but some luck on that the tyre doesn't pop off the rim. But more so, I'm going to rely upon talent to be able to conquer this trail. That is mega difficult for some of you guys not so difficult for some of the rest of us congruent with this flat tire at that 150 cruise on up quite warm here today go ahead and unzip my jacket get some airflow there we go got the windbreak jacket on I'd rather be warmer than colder. It's always easier to shed a layer, cool down, than it is to warm up. Alright, here we go. Bit of a challenge on this one, maybe. to sit down that was pitiful get standing back up again here should have put it down the gear so they didn't bog out as easily but just in cruise mode at the moment oh yeah we're up high there's some more there is five miles of Dell Satan's crack out there was planning on going there, but we'll just get over just near that quarry, just in that saddle that I previously talked about on the cow connector trail. And we'll come back down the road then. That's the plan. Sure, I could go do Satan's Crack and again prove how easy it is, even with his rear tire. But I want to do a hot lap up it, so come out and attack it another day. All right, here we go. Quite rocky along this ridge here. This part up on there, notchy, all that. If you've got the balance skills, you've got the technique, better off to stand up through all this crap. Allows you to carry your momentum. Yeah, you even hear by the engine, the sound of the engine there. I'm not going that fast, just cruising along. A little 150 motor, plenty of torque in it. There by jo jockeying around on me there quite a bit. Oh, I dabbed a foot at the top, but it's jockeying around on me. But no worries, just maintain my balance, use those techniques 
that you get reinforced while doing the slow ride exercise. Just maneuvered with the bike. All we're able to do, keep standing up and carry that momentum up the hill instead of sitting down and flopping around. say anything back there because I had to concentrate. <laughs> oh yeah, quite notchy along here. Sun's behind us. See the shadow. Be a nice image shot that one. Or a pop over that one. Oh yeah. Instead of dropping through there. Little blip of the throttle and con in conjunction with letting the clutch out you launch right up and over. Some loose rollies there. Watch those loose rollies don't wash you out on the front. Actually happened to me yesterday when I was riding on this bike, totally washed the front out. I was just coming to a stop with a couple of other mates. No, oh, there we go. All right, so the trail goes off to the right there. Goes down into the sand from what I understand, all that. So you could go that way. Loops all the way around, back across the bottom of that face there, over to the saddle right there. We'll just take this one. Check it out, bit of a steep downhill the other side. What I did notice of coming up this trail, it appears that a lot of riders and they go up to the top of that one little Teco hill climb, the one I had sat down on, the one I half asked. I've just been a bit of a pansy today. There's a lot of traffic up until then, and not so much traffic on the trail, not as many much roost marks after that. So it seems like people make a climb to there, that's their bragging rights, and they turn around head back home. I like to keep going myself, but if that's what they did, more power to them. At least they're out here riding. And hold me, that's the main thing. All right, from here, right down in there, that's the, some of you guys who ride out here know of that being a parcel of private property. Been some contention over that in the recent past about ability to go through there. But one of the churches own it now. Dirt bike riders have been given the approval to go ahead and ride on through there to access out to five miles down. You see I made that cliff down there, the white the white, the white square spot. That's the entrance to five miles of Dell and Satan's Crack, two different canyons. Here's a saddle right down there so you when you want to access it, you just go down the road for oh, a couple of hundred meters, not even a quarter of a mile, eighth of a mile, and then the single track, single track peels off to the right. It goes between the mountain range there and that road. It just weaves the way all along there. If you cruise on down there, just take it steady. You'll soon see it. Keep your eyes open. You'll be good to go. It's a nice climb coming up here. Especially when it's wet or like early mid spring when the ground's still frozen and that yeah yeah she's quite skatey coming up this thing a little bit of a challenge something to sink your teeth to, into again I wouldn't call it difficult 
Right. So yeah, this, this is maybe the hardest part of it here. You've got this little bit of a ledge part, and you got because you got this sharp turn right around here. So you got to be able to carry that momentum. Sharp turn right here. So you basically lose all of your momentum. Or you can take that hot line off to the left up there, carry the speed. But oh, rear tire is still on. It's been flat the whole way along here. No worries. Even though these nightshy, rocky, ledgy stuff, it's no problem with the rear tyre. Praise the Lord that talent got me through here, not luck. That's an inside joke with my mate Jamie Bringard. She always likes to joke about that one. We have a good laugh about it. So you go down the road there, or there's one that goes over here. Drops right down into the saddle. It's here somewhere. There it is. Righto. There we are. That's the way you head down and head out to five miles of Dell, just down that road straight ahead down there. About 300 meters, eighth of a mile, no more than a quarter of a mile. That's a dead end there. And this one here is the single track. If we had well, up on top of the ridge and we drop down, you can loop all the way around and come up this sucker here. But we shall head back down the road here, go back to base camp. Let's have a look at this rim. See how it's looking. All right, what we got here? We've got a bit of electrical tape. That's what I've had on the, uh, over the rims as a rim protector, or not a rim, the spokes. You know, you usually have the elastic thing, but that, the elastic band that goes, that covers the spokes to protect the tube against the spokes. And uh, that's fallen out. Oh, that's gone before because of another flat tire riding along. But check out that rim. If any, oh geez. My knee's still sore from yesterday. Oh, I can hardly get down. Rims, look at it just polishes up nicely. You can see where it's been rolling around out as far as here. There's some tires been rubbing on the rim all the way around, but the rim is totally straight. Oh, my knee. I sound like the thing on SpongeBob. My knee, my leg. All right, what about down here, this side? Yeah, apart from that electrical tape there. And then the rim. Spot on! Bloody eighth. So, that tells you a bit about how far you can ride on a flat tire. Especially this one here, like I said, it's a 140-80. So it's a very big sidewall on it. It rolls around way easily. It's a mega old tire. You see there's hardly any knob. So she shot. It's worn so it'd be easy, you'd think, for it to pop off the rim because it's flogged out, it's stretched out. No, no, she's good. Keeps on going. Now, of course, there's going to be the anomaly. There's going to be the exception where it does pop off fairly straight away. I've had that happen before, but anyhow, not the case. All right, we'll go down the road. I might as well do another video on this, going down the road, back to the cars, and that way we'll be good to go. Uh, yeah, bummer. Right, got, got cut short. I have to come out another day to go hit that stuff. Maybe this one, I'll go this one, go back that way to the Satan's Crack and show how easy and flowy that one is, comparatively speaking.